One of my spiritual practices is understanding my vocation, not just as a pastor, but also as a daughter to my mother and then a wife to my wife um, and understanding that that also informs who I am and how I move in the world. So one of the easiest facilitators to prayer and reflection and meditation is when I do care for our house that I share with my wife. That then I'm providing, whether it's cooking, cleaning, organizing, taking care of yard work, just tending to our animals, we have two dogs and a cat. What that does is not just fill out chores that need to be done in that day, it also reminds me that I'm called as a participant in the world and also into this beautiful marriage that enriches me and makes me a better pastor. So simply participating intentionally in the tasks of the world around me, even in those tasks that just sort of seem necessary for basic cleanliness, those uh, I can use to help me understand myself better as not just a human being that needs to dust, but also as a beloved child of God. I used to pray, um, I don't know if they a lot, but I prayed every day and I used to wonder, do I, if I need to become more spiritual, do I need to pray more? So I, I'm glad I discovered meditation. Yeah, you, you just be with God rather than asking God for stuff. The purpose of the meditation is to lead you into a space, spiritual space where you can become a more effective actor. Bringing the meditation exercise into the inner city crisis for me, was bringing it home. If, if, it, if it can work for real, it'll work here. If it can't work here, it can't work for me. Because this is how my, this is the reality my neighbors live with. So now I can just be with God, which is a great thing. It's a vacation for the soul, right? I schedule things in, in my calendar. Because I'm like, I can't do this without these things. And the spiritual practices are one of them. And some of it is just simply time away. Reading is one of my spiritual practices. Writing to some extent and walking. Like most of my thinking about um, a reflection for a Sunday or for something is going to happen when I'm moving. And it's usually when I'm walking. But I think just thinking. Because in that space of thinking, you know, God is very much present and um, unveiling things for me and saying, hey, pay attention. And um, God will take advantage of any space that you're willing to be vulnerable <laughs> and help you out. <laughs> so for me, that's often thinking. And, you know, obviously scripture is a part of that. I do also spend a lot of time in scripture study. Um, it's taken me a long time to develop a not just a positive but a, a fulfilling relationship with scripture because unfortunately I do come with a background where I've had scripture and other theological practices used against me. So one of the things that I've been intentional about in my development as pastor is developing not just a neutral relationship with scripture, not just a positive one, but one where I do truly engage with the text until I come away with a sense of commission and blessing. It takes work, but it's also very important to me and that how very much how I understand my calling and my role as a pastor and as myself is to be able to have a fulfilling relationship with our holy text. I think innovation is a spiritual practice. I have to think of what I know about God through the word. I have to think about what I know about God through my relationships that I've had, through the people I'm connected to. So I think the very, that, that process of always asking those questions is very much a spiritual practice. It's crucial to have personal spiritual practices because as much as we, any of us who are rostered leaders, uh, serving in ordained positions, lay leaders, the church will never be able to fill our bucket completely on its own. And especially when we're working in leadership positions, there will be days that are draining. We have to have practices that are true for us and for our family situation that help refill that bucket. And naturally, those practices can't just be ways that we refill our own bucket, but rather ways that we connect with, at least in our Christian practice, with what we understand to be the source of all filling, which is God.